Let's create a car particle system of confetti to shoot out of our confetti cannon. We'll select the FX menu set in the menu set drop down menu in the upper left hand corner. Under end particles, we're going to create an emitter. And once that emitter is on stage, we'll just position it. in the mouth of the cannon. Now you can see the particles being emitted. Very small right now. Let's go and fix that. First of all, instead of the dots, we want to create actual confetti. Let's go under create polygon primitives. We'll just create a plane. It's a small little plane. Call it confetti. I'll assign a new material to that. And give it a nice pink color. Remember to name everything as much as possible. The more you name, the easier it is to work within the application. Now, using my outliner window, I'll select the confetti and the end particle. And under end particles, we'll go ahead and select instancer. So now, confettis coming out of the particle system. And we can go ahead and hide the original confetti if we want. Now we have to work with the particle system a little bit. So first we're going to select the emitter. In the emitter, we want to make it a directional emitter because it's going to just go in the direction of the explosion. Right now it looks like it's going down when I run the playback head. That's just because gravity's taking over. This doesn't have enough speed. So I can give it speed. I'm going to give it quite a bit. Like I thought it was spread, not speed. Test the new speed, and we'll see it's going in the wrong direction right now, but we can change that in the distance and direction attributes. Find that we want to go in the Z direction, so I'll just take put set the X direction at 0, and set the Z direction at 5. Run it again. And it's going in a good distance now. Now we'll increase the spread some. So it kind of blows apart. Finally, we want it to just kind of all emit at once when the explosion happens. So to do that, we'll set the initial speed, I'm sorry, we'll set the initial particles per second to zero. And right click right in that field on the rate and set key. Then on the, just roll about two frames forward now we want a big explosion, so maybe we'll make it 3,000. We'll set the key, and then we want to run it for a couple more frames. And of course, we want to set it back to zero. Right click and set key. So now we run it back, it should be nothing, nothing, nothing. Big explosion. Oops, for some reason, I set my key to zero. When it was supposed to be 3,000. Let's just do that again. Make sure I click set key. Test it one more time. The speed's still way too slow. I'll adjust that up too. Let me make it 250. Now the only thing is, is just fixing the timing. 
best way to do this under Windows Animation Editor in the Graph Editor. We're just going to make sure that our emitter is selected. And you see, and grab those keyframes. And then just with the Move key, we'll just. Move them just a little later. Test it out. Well, I moved it much, much later, so we want to get just a little later. And I would just keep adjusting it until I find the actual right timing. just a little bit earlier. And there you have the confetti exploding from the cannon.